Hey there YouTube, this is TrunksBrad23 coming at you with another video. This time we are going to be learning how to allocate more RAM to Minecraft single player on Windows 7. So let's jump right into that. First thing you're going to do, go down into your taskbar, bring up your start menu, scroll over to where it says computer, right click, that'll bring up this little window. Scroll down to the bottom of that where it says properties, left click on that. That will bring up your system specs. All right, now you're going to look for where it says installed memory RAM. I've got four gigs, 3.68 usable. So I'm going to remember four because 3.68 is kind of a funny number to remember. The other thing you're going to look for is where it says system type. I have 64-bit operating system. You want to remember whether it's a 64 or a 32 because you need to have the right Java installed. If you don't have the right Java installed, this will not work correctly. 32 for 32, 64 for 64. Make sure it's the most recent update. Alright, next thing you're going to do is open up yourself a new text document in Notepad. Not WordPad, not Microsoft Word, Notepad. I don't think it works in anything else. I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain it doesn't. Alright. I've already got this one pre-made here, so I'm going to pop it open. Now, uh, the thing you want to remember is not to put too much RAM into Minecraft. Leave yourself about a gig of RAM to let everything else run while you're running Minecraft. So I've got four. Keep it on the safe side. I'm only going to do two. I could do three, but I'm going to stick with two. So I'm going to get rid of this and all of these. I will make sure to link all of those in the description so you guys can copy and paste them and you don't have to come back and pause this every time and type it all out. Alright, next thing you're going to do is find where you have minecraft.exe put in. Uh, you are going to then, as I have it here, it's in my games folder off to the side here. Here it says Minecraft. You click right up here at the top where it says, has this folder that's going to pop up. You can right click, copy that, and then you've pretty much got it. All you have to do is add another slash and dot minecraft ex or minecraft dot exe. Sorry about that. Alright, I'm going to bring this back up now. As you can see, I've already got one pre-made here that has the whole thing. So you can go ahead and look at that if you get a little confused. I have mine under users, my name, desktop, games minecraft.exe if you type this in manually make sure that this X and this X are capitalized it will not work if you don't it will not work alright now finally we're gonna go over to file save as name it whatever we like so I'm gonna name it gobbity goop and now at the end of that before you hit enter you're going to put dot B -A -T. That's short for batch. Don't type in batch, just dot B-A-T. Then click save. Close this out, and as you can see, I now have a new little icon. It's got these little gears on it. It's called Gobbity Goop. You also be named whatever you decide to name it. Now I'm going to click on it. That brings up this little black box. And that brings up the launcher. This has effectively now told Minecraft to run at 2 gigs of allocated RAM instead of the half a gig that it was running at before. I'm going to close that back out now. Alright guys, well I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe at the bottom. And I will come at you with another one soon, I hope. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see y'all later.